Recorded Books and RB Digital present Artificial Condition by Martha Wells, narrated by Kevin R. Free. Chapter 1 Sec units don't care about the news. Even after I hacked my governor module and got access to the feeds, I never paid much attention to it, partly because downloading the entertainment media was less likely to trigger any alarms that might be set up on satellite and station networks. Political and economic news was carried on different levels, closer to the protected data exchanges, but mostly because the news was boring, and I didn't care what humans were doing to each other as long as I didn't have to A. stop it, or B. clean up after it. But as I crossed the Transit Rings Mall, a recent news burst from station was in the air, bouncing from one public feed to another. I skimmed it, but most of my attention was on getting through the crowd while pretending to be an ordinary augmented human and not a terrifying murder bot. This involved not panicking when anybody accidentally made eye contact with me. Fortunately, the humans and augmented humans were too busy trying to get wherever they were going or searching the feed for directions and transport schedules. Three passenger transports had come through wormholes along with the bot-driven cargo transport I had hitched a ride on, and the big mall between the different embarkation zones was crowded. Besides the humans, there were bots of all different shapes and sizes, drones buzzing along above the crowd, and cargo moving on the overhead walkways. The security drones wouldn't be scanning for sec units unless they were specifically instructed, and nothing had tried to ping me so far, which was a relief. I was off the company's inventory, but this was still the corporation rim, and I was still property. Though I was feeling pretty great about how well I was doing so far, considering this was only the second transit ring I had been through, Sec units were shipped to our contracts as cargo, and we never went through the parts of stations or transit rings that were meant for people. I'd had to leave my armor behind in the deployment center on station, but in the crowd I was almost as anonymous as if I was still wearing it. Yes, that is something I had to keep repeating to myself. I was wearing gray and black work clothes, the long sleeves of the t-shirt and jacket, the pants and boots covering all my inorganic parts, and I was carrying a knapsack. Among the varied and colorful clothes, hair, skin, and interfaces of the crowd, I didn't stand out. The data port in the back of my neck was visible, but the design was too close to the interfaces augmented humans often had implanted.